I suggest you write music. I've always written songs, so my perspective may not align with everyone. When I was 13, I got my first guitar, and right away, I wrote a song, and then another, and then another, and so on. These were songs with lyrics written by the 13-year-old me, so you'll never, ever hear them. I knew four chords. It wasn't a conscious decision to write. I just did. I'm glad I did, and here's why. If you write songs, you view guitar from what I believe is the best perspective, and that is as a support instrument, and you play what the song needs. If you write music, you learn that the guitar part is part of the texture of the song, just one of the components. This is even true of guitar-centric music. I've recorded three albums of guitar-centered music, but every cut is a song, and guitar happens to be the lead voice, that's all. Regardless of if you're playing rhythm guitar, fills, or soloing, what you play is part of the arrangement, and it's wise to see your role as the guitarist in that way. This goes for your tone, chord voicings, your solo note choices, how busy or loud you are, and even if you play in a particular section. A producer's first thought is not how cool the guitar part, unless it's playing the hook. It's about what the song needs. A wise person once said, if you listen to the song, it will tell you what to play. In a band, you're part of a team, so you should behave like a team member. Make your musical choices based on what the song needs. Write songs, even if they're not so great at first. It'll get your brain thinking differently about how you approach the guitar. Songs don't have to be big, elaborate manifestos. There are many songs with only two or three chords. And don't feel like you need to hit it out of the park every time. Just write and record something. Build around the song's core with whatever your instincts tell you. Your everyday instincts are the magical product of what your mind has processed from its experiences in your life. So your musical instincts are a product of everything you've ever heard and played. Write songs, then record songs, then experiment with parts. Then listen and see if your parts help the song or not. And don't be afraid to change what you did. Writing songs and inventing parts teaches you a lot.